हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन लेक्चर नंबर एट ऑन पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशंस इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस हाउ टू सिलेक्ट अप्रोप्रिएट मल्टीप्लायर्स सो एज वी ऑप्टेन जीरो इन द डिनोमिनेटर एंड वी आर एबल टू फाइंड आउट द टू फंक्शंस यू एंड वी इन द जनरल सॉल्यूशन ऑफ लागरंज पार्सिलियर इक्वेशन so today also we are going to discuss some more examples on this uh, type number 3 for solving lagrange auxiliary equations so let us start with this example number 1 it is given that we have to solve this equation y minus zx into small p plus x plus yz into small q equal to x square plus y square so we can see that this is lagrange क्वासिलीनियर इक्वेशन इट इज इन दिस फॉर्म सो वी स्टार्ट बाय राइटिंग लागरांज ऑक्जिलरी इक्वेशंस सो वी हैव टू राइट डी एक्स डिवाइडेड बाय कोफिशेंट ऑफ स्मॉल पी विच इज वाई माइनस सेड एक्स इक्वल टू डी वाई डिवाइडेड बाय कोफिशेंट ऑफ स्मॉल क्यू विच इज एक्स प्लस वाई जेड इक्वल टू डी जेड डिवाइडेड बाय राइट हैंड साइड विच इज एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर सो वी गिव दिस नंबर वन दीज आर लागरांज ऑक्जिलरी इक्वेशंस और अनदर नेम इज सब्सिडरी इक्वेशंस नाउ हियर इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल टू फाइंड आउट दिस सॉल्यूशंस बाय डायरेक्टली कंपेरिंग any two of these three fractions so we have to select appropriate multipliers so if we observe this auxiliary equations then we can see in last fraction z is absent so suppose i multiply last fraction by z then i will have after multiplying by z i will have x square into z plus y square into z so we check whether these two terms will cancel out with any other terms or not so here uh, we have y into z so if i multiply this uh, by minus y i will obtain minus x into y minus y square into z so this y square into z will cancel out with this and uh, we still have to cancel these two terms x square z and minus xy so here we have y so suppose we try by multiplying with x so if i multiply with x i will have xy minus x square z so this xy will cancel out with this and x square z will cancel out with this so from this we have the idea that we have to select multipliers x minus y and z to obtain zero in the denominator so this is by trial and error by solving more problems you will be able to decide how to select appropriate multipliers if possible so here uh, we select x minus y and z as multipliers so choosing x minus y z as multipliers so we will have new fraction which is equal to each fraction of equation 1 so it is equal to x into dx minus y into dy plus z into dz in the division we have to write multiplication of this by x so it is x into y minus x square into z this is multiplied with minus y so we obtain minus xy minus y square z and this is multiplied with z so it is x square into z plus y square into z 
so we can see each term will cancel out minus x square z plus x square z minus y square z plus y square z so we obtain 0 in the denominator x dx minus y dy plus z dz divided by 0 so this uh, implies therefore we must have x dx minus y dy plus z dz equal to 0 and uh, integrating this we obtain first integral of Lagrange auxiliary equations so integrating we obtain x square by 2 minus y square by 2 plus z square by 2 equal to c1 by 2 constant of integration is adjust as c1 by 2 and if we cancel 1 by 2 from each term we obtain x square minus y square plus z square equal to c1 so therefore the first solution of Lagrange auxiliary equations is u equal to x square minus y square plus z square equal to c1 so therefore u equal to x square minus y square plus z square equal to c1 similarly we have to select another set of multipliers independent of these three such that we obtain zero in the denominator so now instead of x minus y z i have to think for another set of multipliers which is different from x minus y and z another set of multipliers must be independent of these multipliers so uh, what will be our idea to select multipliers uh, for example if i observe again this last fraction so i have x square here and uh, here i have small x here i have small y so if i multiply this by x i will have x square and here also i have x square so suppose i multiply this last fraction by minus 1 i will have minus x square minus y square so if i want to cancel out this minus x square i have to multiply this fraction by x so i will obtain x square so that x square will cancel out this minus x square and to cancel out this minus y square i must have y square so i multiply first fraction by y so here i will have y square that will cancel out this minus y square and this is going to be minus x y z and here we will obtain x y z so this suggests that we select these multipliers y x minus 1 so this is another set of multipliers So choosing y x minus 1 as multipliers each fraction of 1 equal to so we have y is multiplied with dx x is multiplied with dy and dz is multiplied with minus 1 so this first fraction is multiplied with y so i will obtain y square minus xyz so here i write y square minus xyz then second fraction is multiplied with x so here i will obtain x square plus x y z so plus x square plus x y z and last fraction is x square plus y square 
which is multiplied with minus 1 so we obtain minus x square minus y square so we can see x square minus x square 0 y square minus y square and x y z minus x y z so we obtain 0 in the denominator so this is equal to y dx plus x dy minus dz divided by 0 so this implies y dx plus x dy minus dz is 0 now this is nothing but differential coefficient of x into y so d of xy minus dz equal to 0 and if we integrate we obtain x into y minus z equal to c2 so therefore second integral of auxiliary equations is v equal to x into y minus z equal to c2 so therefore the general solution is phi of uv equal to 0 so therefore phi of the first integral u is x square minus y square plus z square x square minus y square plus z square comma v is x into y minus z and phi is an arbitrary function So this is the general integral of given partial differential equation. We consider one more example. Given equation is z into xp minus yq equal to y square minus x square. So this we rewrite as z xp minus z yq equal to y square minus x square and uh, it is Lagrange quasi-linear equation so which is Lagrange equation so to solve Lagrange equations we have to start by writing Lagrange auxiliary equations R dx divided by coefficient of small p which is z into x dy divided by minus z into y equal to dz divided by y square minus x square so give this number 1 now if you observe first two fractions so differentials are dx and dy and uh, we can cancel out this uh, z so remaining terms will be in terms of x and y only so here we can obtain one solution by directly comparing the first two fractions so here it is possible to find out one solution by directly comparing fractions so taking first two fractions of 1 we have dx divided by z into x equal to minus dy divided by z into y and z will cancel out so we have 1 by x dx equal to minus 1 by y dy and this is separable so we obtain the first solution by integrating both sides so integrating we obtain integral of 1 by x is ln x equal to minus ln y 
and we adjust constant of integration as log c1 or ln c1 so therefore we have ln x plus ln y equal to ln c1 and using property of logarithm this is log x y equal to log of c1 and because log is one one function we obtain x into y equal to c1 so this implies the first solution is u equal to x into y equal to c1 now for second solution uh, we have to select multipliers because now second solution is not possible by comparing two fractions suppose we want to compare fractions 2 and 3 then differentials are dy and dz so x must be absent but we have x square here so similarly we cannot compare last first and last fraction because we have dx and dz so y must be absent so we have to select appropriate multipliers and we have to check whether it is possible to select appropriate multipliers so that we obtain zero in the denominator so for that uh, if we again observe last fraction then in last fraction z is absent we have y square minus x square so suppose i multiply here by z i will have y square z minus x square z so you can see here uh, we have minus y into z so to cancel out this y square z i have to multiply this by y and to cancel out this x square z i have to multiply this by x so from this we have the idea that we should select small x small y and small z as multipliers to obtain zero in the denominator so we will select x y z as multipliers so choosing x y z as multipliers each fraction of 1 equal to in the numerator we have x dx plus y dy plus z dz and in the denominator here we multiply with x so we have x square z this is multiplied with y so x square z minus y square z so i write here x square z minus y square z and last fraction is multiplied with z so we have written here it is y square z minus x square z so plus y square z minus x square z so this uh, gives zero in the denominator so we have x dx plus y dy plus z dz divided by zero so therefore uh, we write x dx plus y dy plus z dz equal to zero and integrating we get x square by 2 plus y square by 2 plus z square by 2 equal to suppose c2 by 2 so therefore x square plus y square plus z square equal to c2 
so therefore the second integral is v equal to x square plus y square plus z square equal to c2 and therefore the general solution is arbitrary function of u v equal to 0 so therefore u equal to I think it is x into y u is x into y and v is x square plus y square plus z square so x into y comma x square plus y square plus z square equal to 0 or if we wish we can write in this way also general integral is uh, we can write x square plus y square plus z square that is v equal to function of u which is x into y or if we wish we can write x into y as a arbitrary function of x square plus y square plus z square where phi is an arbitrary function so in this example it is possible to find out one solution by directly comparing the first two fractions and another solution is obtained by choosing multipliers x y and z so these are the problems of type 3 in which we are able to select multipliers p1 q1 r1 such that we obtain p1 into p plus q1 into q plus r1 equal r1 into r equal to 0 and this implies p1 dx plus q1 dy plus r1 dz equal to 0 and after solving this we are able to find out solutions of Lagrange auxiliary equations so this is all about today's session we have done enough number of problems of type 3 so in next lecture we are going to discuss fourth type of solving Lagrange auxiliary equations so I hope you like this lecture. Thank you very much.